I'm going to cover GMRS station types. Uh, these definitions can be found in 95.303. Uh, there's some confusion about fixed stations and what's a control station. So we've got several types. Uh, in the mobile stations, we have a mobile station, which means it's, it can move around, or there's a handheld portable station, which it moves around but it's held in your hand. Then we have stations that are at fixed locations. Uh, this can be a base station, a control station, or a fixed station. Notice fixed station and fixed location are two different terms. A base station is considered a base if you're talking to another base station, a mobile, or a handheld station. A control station is a base station that is talking through a repeater at that particular time. And then we have fixed station, which a fixed station definition is it's only talking to another fixed station. And lastly, we have a repeater station. A repeater simultaneously retransmits a received signal on another channel. And these are used to increase communication distance. So let's focus on the little house on the left. Obviously, a house is a fixed location. So when that station talks through a repeater, it's considered a control station. Basically, because the input signal is causing the transmitter to turn on and transmit on the other frequency, you're controlling the repeater. Now under the rules, it doesn't consider a mobile or a handheld to be a control station when talking through a repeater. If that house is talking to another house or a handheld or a mobile, then it is considered a base station. Now let's look at what a fixed station is. This is probably the most confusing part of the rules for people. A fixed station is a station in a fixed location that only talks to another station that's in a fixed location. And this is the one that has the 15 watt maximum output. A base station can still do 50 watts. These can only talk on the 462 main and the 467 main channels. You'll see the little house on the right has a different type of antenna. That's a directional Yagi antenna and those have a higher gain but they're very directional. That's one of the reasons for the 15 watt maximum limit is because fixed locations generally use Yagi type antennas so that they can get farther distances uh, and the affected radiated power gets a lot higher than it would on a standard antenna. So maybe you've read in the rules about something called a small base station. If you have, you were reading the old rules the ones before 2017. A small base station does not exist anymore. They had changed the rules around but never took that term out so it actually didn't mean anything.